Owning a home is widely regarded as the ultimate milestone in someone's financial journey. But due to the growing unaffordability of ownership, many are asking, is buying a home the right move for me? So let's talk about the pros and cons of owning a house. Here's the short version. The pros of home ownership are fixed housing costs, tax benefits, asset appreciation, equity, and property control. The cons are upfront costs, maintenance and repairs, property taxes and fees, low liquidity, and market risk. Each of these things need to be considered in your decision to buy a home. So the short version is nice and concise, but it's worth diving deeper. Let's start again with the pros. Fixed housing cost is an advantage provided by common mortgages that offer fixed rate loans over a long period of time, usually 15 or 30 years. And because common mortgages amortize, your monthly mortgage payment will be the same every time. There's no worrying about rent going up every year. Interest rates won't adjust upwards in a high rate environment like right now. And inflation has no impact on this predictable cost. And predictable is the key. The pro here is stability for a homeowner. The tax benefits of owning a home come in the form of deductions against your taxable income, reducing your overall tax bill for the year. One of the biggest deductions available to homeowners is the total interest paid on your mortgage. Every time you make a mortgage payment, a portion of that payment is interest, and that portion is tax deductible. There's also the deduction for property taxes, which if you live in a state like Texas where property taxes are a huge expense every year, the deduction goes a long way to reduce your federal tax liability. In addition to tax deductions, homeowners may receive tax credits that can incentivize things like ownership for lower income individuals or installing more efficient clean energy. Asset appreciation is defined as the increase in value of an asset. In this case, the value of the home and the real estate it exists on. Asset appreciation is a big advantage because it directly contributes to your equity position, your personal net worth, and your ability to build that wealth way into the future. If you're going to tie up as much money as you do when purchasing a home, ideally it's tied to something that can go up in value versus other large purchases like a vehicle that you'll almost always lose money on. How much a home appreciates varies considerably based on your location, your time of purchase, any improvements made, etc. But historically speaking, national home prices have always risen over long durations. As a result of asset appreciation coupled with paying down a mortgage, you get the advantage of equity. Equity is your true ownership claim over your house. It's defined as the value of the property minus your outstanding mortgage obligation. In other words, equity is the property's net worth from the perspective of the owner. Equity is such a meaningful advantage for homeowners because it gives them financial flexibility in situations like refinancing at lower rates, changing the loan terms of the mortgage, pulling out additional debt that's borrowed against equity, and in the event of selling the property, the equity is some indication of your profit. Now, not every advantage has to be a financial one. In the case of home ownership, the motivation to buy comes from the ownership itself. You own the property. It's yours to control. It's yours to customize. It's yours to work on. Obviously, within reason, the rules are for you to set. And that's valuable to many people. It's a mental and an emotional advantage, but an advantage nonetheless. The fact that the American dream is partially dependent on owning a home speaks to the emotional side of it. The sense of ownership is a sense of accomplishment in our society. It's a financial milestone that a lot of people gauge their life success by. And I think we can all agree, being the decision maker over something as defining as a home just feels good. So those are the pros. Let's move on to the cons. And I argue that these need to be weighted more heavily in your decision to buy a home 
because they are the risks that often get overlooked. The stuff that sneaks up on people when it's too late. The upfront costs of buying a home are a serious consideration. This is likely going to be the single largest expense you'll ever make in your life at one time. These costs include your down payment, appraisal and inspection fees, escrow, loan origination fees, various insurance required at closing, legal fees, and some other smaller fees needed to facilitate the transaction financed by a mortgage. Many of these fees fall under the closing costs, which can vary significantly depending on the agreed upon deal, but will typically run between 2% and 6% of the mortgage amount. With the median house price of $420,000, a 20% down payment will be $84,000, and the closing costs would be anywhere from about $6,700 to $20K. The expenses don't stop with the down payment and closing costs. For the entire life of ownership, you'll be faced with maintenance and repairs. Plumbing, roofing, AC units, power washing, lawn care, paint jobs, pests and critters, appliances, and foundation issues. The entire spectrum of frequent but inexpensive and rare but super costly. An HVAC replacement will cost you about eight grand. A roof replacement, 12 grand. And termite damage has a $3,000 price tag. The worst case scenario is you get hit with something like this early into your home ownership. And the best case is it never happens, but nonetheless, you'll still need to be prepared to cover an expense like that. And smaller maintenance, like the lawn and cleaning, should be a forever expectation every month or two. No one wants to pay more taxes at the end of the day, but when you become a homeowner, you'll more than likely be obligated to pay property taxes. And depending on your state, you could expect to pay several thousand dollars as a percentage of your home's assessed value. Take a state like Illinois with an effective tax rate of nearly 2%. That's almost eight grand in property taxes on top of whatever existing tax liability you owe to the federal, state, and local governments. Property taxes are even more burdensome when you consider your home isn't really generating income or realizing any capital gains to pay that tax bill. It's an expense that puts pressure on your income and on your savings each year. Oh, and I consider HOA fees to be a form of unnamed property tax. You're literally paying an entity for governance and some level of neighborhood benefits. The disadvantage to home ownership I get caught up on the most is the issue of liquidity. Homes are an illiquid asset in that it's extremely difficult to convert it into hard cash. Real estate transactions can take months to do. Marketing the property, finding a buyer, agreeing on a purchase price, negotiating the terms, mortgage underwriting, etc., etc. All of that stuff adds to the time it takes to extract the cash value out of your asset. This matters a lot if and when you decide to move, or for whatever reason. For example, perhaps you need to move to another state for a job opportunity, starting in two months. That's a lot of pressure to not only liquidate your current house, but to then find a new house that would close within the same time frame. The lengthy process, the logistics of selling a home, reduces the flexibility you have in making short-term decisions. A contributing factor to the illiquid nature of homes as an asset is market risk. This is the risk of house prices fluctuating up and down, both before you purchase your home and after. When you decide to buy, it could very well be that you purchase the house at the peak of the market, and then you'll have to deal with the fallout of a market decline, impacting your equity, impacting your ability to refinance, and getting stuck with a sense of buyer's remorse. Market risk can also hurt you when it's time to sell your home. What if the market is in a valley? and you're having to sell in an environment where you make a lot less profit, or in some cases, even lose money. The point is that market fluctuations can make owning a home volatile, both financially and emotionally. It's a roller coaster when so many things are tied to the value of your property. And that's not even discussing the dynamics of interest rates and how that can affect you. 
so many things, so many factors, but all things to consider nonetheless. All right, y'all, let's leave it there. The pros and cons of owning your home. The pros, fixed housing costs, tax benefits, asset appreciation, equity, and property control. The cons, upfront costs, maintenance and repairs, property taxes and fees, low liquidity, and market risk. If you're thinking about buying, be sure to fully understand what you're getting and what you're not with home ownership. It's a big decision, so hopefully this video helps. If you want to see more videos like this, give this one a like and consider subscribing if you aren't already. Your support is much appreciated. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments or feel free to email me at askalexherrera at gmail.com. As always, thanks for watching. Until next time, take care of yourself and best of luck.